This is an overview of the Webster Application Server Troubleshooting and Performance Lab on Docker. This is a self-paced lab covering things like CP usage, thread dumps, garbage collection, memory analysis, the whole point of which is to performance tune and troubleshoot both Webster Liberty and traditional Webster Application Server. So the way this works is first you install Docker on either Mac, Windows, or Linux, and then you run the image, and then you have a full Linux GUI that you remote into which has WebSphere and all the tools installed. So this is the Docker Hub page. If we scroll down, the first link is to the full lab. So if we just take a quick peek, it's about 130 pages. It goes through all the instructions of how to install Docker, configure Docker, run the image, and then run the lab. We'll come back to this in a few minutes. There's a quick start here, which shows the basics, how to run the image, what to wait for, to show that it's ready and then how to remote into it. And that's all you really need. So one note though is that you'll need at least 40 gigabytes of disk space configured for Docker and at least four gigabytes of RAM. You might be able to do a little less RAM, but you might have some issues in the memory analysis sections. So we'll take the first command and copy it. We'll go to a terminal, paste it and press enter. The first time you do this, it'll download the whole lab and then it'll start it. In this case, I have it downloaded already. So this will take about two minutes while that's going. I'll just show a few other things. So if we scroll down, first there's some links to the full readme and the Docker file used to create the image, and then screenshots on what you'll see when you remote into the image, into the container. So let's go to the lab instructions. Now, as you go through this, there's an intro, screenshots, and then here's where if you don't already have Docker installed, this notes some important prerequisites. For example, minimum versions of Windows and Mac that you'll need, and then details about how to actually install Docker are in these links. This talks about the OS that is running in the image, and we're using Fedora Linux, which is the open source foundation of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and CentOS, and then also talks about which versions of Java are installed in the image. Talk about the concepts we're going to cover. And then finally, starts going through the lab. So the first is to make sure Docker is running. Then after that, make sure it's configured correctly for disk and RAM. And this shows screenshots from both Windows and Mac. And then how to actually run the terminal, and then pull the image, and then run the image. And this is back to where we were in the quick start guide. So let's check in on our progress, still starting. Now a few notes while that's starting is for Mac, you're just going to VNC using the built-in VNC viewer to remote into the container. Similarly with Linux, you just use VNC viewer. For Windows, you can use remote desktop, but because of some security restrictions, that does take some configuration, uh, which is covered in the appendix. Um, however, you could instead, uh, that took me back to the top, you could instead use a third-party VNC client. There are some free options online, although, you know, check licenses and things like that. So the image is now ready. We can see in the Docker output these three lines showing ready. So now let's remote into it. So I'm going to go back to the quick start guide. Because I'm running on Mac, Mac, I'm going to copy this command. Just open a new tab in the terminal, paste, and press enter. The password is WebSphere, all lowercase. And now we're in essentially what's like a virtual machine on my Mac. It's running Linux on top of Docker, on top of my Mac. And that will also work on Windows or Linux. So the first thing you're gonna do, and this will be covered in the instructions in the lab, is you'll start JMeter, which is a free tool to simulate load on either Webster Liberty or Webster Traditional. So let's do that. Double click on JMeter.
we'll click open, switch to the root directory, opt, docker debug, oh, I'm sorry, uh, day trader seven, jmeter files, and then whether you're learning Liberty or traditional web studio, you'll pick that JMX file. So let's pick Liberty. Then you'll click on aggregate report, which shows the results of the test. And then you'll click on the green play button. It'll take a few seconds to start. And then the key thing to watch for is to make sure that the error percent column is zero. If it's greater than zero, there's probably some sort of issue starting the Docker container and you should check the output of the docker run command. So as this is running, then we would start to actually go through the lab. So for example, uh, the first lab is about CPU and memory analysis. So we would run all the steps through this lab. Now, one thing to note is that if you want to skip the data collection steps, most of the labs package data in the lab itself. So in this case, if we just want to start using the tools and analyzing the data, we can skip some of the data analysis gathering, some of the data gathering, sorry. So for example, let's just stop this because it's using a lot of CPU. And then I can start by analyzing thread dumps. So I'll open up, um, it's hard to find some of these sometimes. TMD, there it is. Thread and monitor dump analyzer. And then I can just open, switch to slash opt docker debug, Duraws debug, supplemental, sample data, liberty, and then I'll pick the linperf lab, which is the first lab. And then I can, for example, open up some of the thread dumps, click a thread dump, view the stacks. So you can really get started quickly in analyzing simulated data. Uh, another thing I'll point out is that there is this link here to the ins full lab instructions within the lab itself. So you could actually download this and run this completely offline. And that's about it. So if you have any suggestions on other topics you'd like to see covered in the lab, please let me know. Thank you.